today and today we're going to have a game of Auto Man for the Commodore 64 um, so this was based on a 1980s television show um, it came out in America and obviously got distributed everywhere including the UK because I remember it but as I say I remember it but it wasn't one that I really got into so I didn't really understand the premise of the show um, I remember he had a car and it turned into a helicopter and um, he had this cursor I think the cursor that went around with him actually turned it was the what that was the thing that turned into a car in a helicopter and it's turned into other things uh, I don't know and it was this electronic man that's all I do remember of it but it wasn't one I could get into um, so it starts up with this um, I guess that's the title screen <laughs> Um, so you can tell the quality straight away by looking at this title screen. <laughs> so no graphics there. Um, come out by Bug Byte. So it's not one of the um, big um, software houses. So it's a little Bug Byte. Originally, you know, I'm not going to um, criticise Bug Byte because there was a one that originally released Manic Miner on the Spectrum. So the company itself ain't um, a terrible company, but uh, I think um, the guy out there depth with this. Uh, right, let's, let's, let's just play it. So we all definitely know how these um, television tie-ins usually come out. Usually pretty shit. Right, push jump to start. Yeah, well, straight away, things ain't looking good. You need a cursor. And I fucking got... And I fucking die. So it starts off with a platform game. And you got to push... Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it starts off with this platform game. And it automatically jumps on that. Uh, oh, bloody hell. Alright, you... Uh, oh. So why is that mouse running backwards? Oh, I need the cursor. The cursor's right up the... Oh, for fuck's sake! Yeah, the cursor is right up the top of the screen there. I don't know what this fucking is all about. What is this? Come on! Bloody heck! Oh, it ain't starting off well, is it? Well, that just sums up the game. You suffered a... Oh, right. I mean, was there giant rats walking backwards and this looks like a space hopper in the actual f television program? I don't think there was. And we got a yin and yang over there, so was that in the television series? I don't think so. So once we get... Right, come on. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is ridiculous. Right, maybe we've got to get to the ladder. Now he's going to fall down. Oh, what the... What a frustrating game this is. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Because the game gets really exciting after this. And believe it or not, I had a test run of it, and I got out on my about third attempt, and now I'm fucking struggling, now I'm actually doing the video. Oh, dear. For fuck's sake! And what really pisses me off about this guy, listen to the annoying music. Uh, I don't think this music was in the actual television series. Right, what's... Oh, fucking hell, what's that space opera going to do? Right, go up, go up. No, I can't move, I can't fucking move. Oh, fucking stupid! This is ridiculous! 
What a load of fucking shit this is. Graphically, it looks appalling. Um, I don't know when this should come out. Um, but for a TV time, you expect. You know, you expect. Right, now I can get up, maybe. No. Oh! I have to get on that green ledge. That's what I've got to do. Right, do it now. Right, get on the ladder. Oh, so he won't stay on the ladder. Oh, fuck it now. This is ridiculous. So, God knows how many... Oh, oh so you chat you got to... Oh, he's fucking coming back. This is shit. Why is he coming for going? <sighs> yeah, definitely not one of Bomb Bug Bite's finest moments, this. Right. Now I can't fucking move. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm trying to get the cursor. Oh, fucking hell. This is ridiculous. So you get all these seconds and I'm trying to get somewhere in a calm. Oh, what the fucking hell. This is ridiculous, this game. Let's get on with it, for fuck's sake. I can get off this, because it... Because I don't know if I mentioned, if you get off this bit, you get to drive the car. And believe me, that's exciting. Ah! Right, get on the ladder. Get on the fucking ladder. Oh my goodness. Oh, my words fail me. Oh, for fucks! So when you get on that beam, it just bounces you in the air anyway. It's just ridiculous. Bomb explosion. Oh, who cares? Right, don't keep bouncing. Right, go under it. Oh, you can't. This is stupid. Let's go this way. See if we can go. This. Oh, I can get out of the room then. Oh, I didn't know that. Bloody hell. Ah, oh, what are you fall through? Bloody hell. This is shit, this game really is. So they've gone through like a Jet Set Willys type of style. Mind you, ironically, I, ironically, um, they did have, they did come, Manic Miner was the first game, so then it went on to Jet Set Willy. Uh, but this is unnecessary. It is really appalling this game. It really is. Oh, fuck, crying out loud. Oh. Right, here we go. Oh, gee. This is ridiculous. Why are they going up the fucking stairs? Right, can we get in a lift? I wonder. Oh, he's in the lift. How did he get from there to there? Right, 
okay. Oh, he can't move when he's in the lift, right. This is really shit. Oh, I've got something there. Oh no, what? Oh, my goodness. I don't know where the hell I'm going. Oh, I'm falling down a big hole. Now, where's he going to put me? Back here. And he's falling down. This is really bad. I wanted to get the cursor and get out and drive the car, but no. So it's on a conveyor belt, so... It looks like they've tried to be a little bit inventive here. Trying to make it a little bit like Jet Set Willy. Then you get to drive a car, and I can't get through that. So, here's a floor. I can't move because it's a conveyor belt I can't walk backwards because I'm on the conveyor belt I can't jump over that because it's a brick wall well done there, there's a floor with the game and I've got to die can I quit out of this no you can't quit out of it Absolutely crap this game. Right. Bloody hell. I have a hammer. I hammer in the morning. I hammer in the evening. And I'll fucking hammer this game if I had it back in the day. Jesus Christ, this is, this is horrendous! Oh, I can't get through there. Can't duck. So I have to get over that fucking mouse somehow. Which is going to be impossible because I can't jump. I don't fuck my... Blimey, there's something over here. Oh, I've got something. I can't move. Oh, God's sake. What are they like? Oh, for fuck's sake. Right. Severe energy. Oh, I don't know. I mean, really? How the hell am I supposed to do this level? Get to there, you can't. And I thought, oh, bloody hell, it ain't going down the ladder. This is stupid, this game. This is really, really stupid. I can't walk the other way because I'm going to get in the... No. So I'm stuck in this room because I can't get out. Unless I fucking find a way and jump over that rat. So I can't get out of this room. I'm stuck. Because I can't duck under that. Can't duck. So how am I going to get through there? If I go onto the, if I go onto that, I'm going to be going in that direction to the right. Because I can't get out. So I'm pretty much stuck in this room. Oh, 
Oh, that's really clever. Really clever, this. Right, let's see if we can go on this. I can't even go down the ladder. Oh, here we go. And it takes me back up to there. I don't really want to go back up there, do I? Oh, I can't jump because there's a brick wall there. This is ridiculous. I can't get out of this room. So I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. But I don't think we're going to see the driving scene. Oh, for fuck. So this, this is just pure, utter fucking shit. What a load of crap. Ah, oh, this is frustrating. Right. It's different. Oh. No, I couldn't even go on the ledge. Right, let's try again. There we go. What a load of... What a... Get on the ladder! Gee! What the f I'm jumping! I've got to get past, I've got to get on there and it ain't working. What a load of fucking bullshit. No, you can't, you hit the wall. Oh, for fuck's sake. I mean, and believe me, when I did a test run, when I was driving the car, that ain't exact, so it's exactly exciting. This is just utter crap. Utter crap. You know, what are you supposed to do on this level? Bloody hell! Right, I'm supposed to jump on that, clearly. But I can't fucking jump on it. Right, see I'm not going right through it. What the fuck am I supposed to do? I'm up there, but now I'm going to get caught by the rat. And you can't jump over it because the wall's there to put stop you. So what the fuck are you supposed to do? You can't get out of this room. So the game is utterly flawed. And I can't get can't get through there because you, you're too tall. If I go down there, you're going to get stopped by the wall. Um, you can't jump over the rat. And you can't get out of the building. You can't get out of this room. Because it's um, a... What should we call it? Um, a conveyor belt. That just takes you up. Once you're up, you can't go nowhere. So this game is utterly flawed. No, nope, I can't get out of the room. I can only go in that direction. I can go up the ladder, then I'll have the same same problems all over again. So, how long have I got? 54 seconds. Well, I'm going to get very far in this because there's no way I can get out of this room. There's no way I can get out of this room. The game obviously wasn't play tested. Right, uh, no, 22 seconds. I'm gonna, the game will be over. Uh. So here we go. I don't know. No. Game is flawed. It's it's utter crap. 
so it looks like we're not going to be able to see, see you. You have failed in your mission. Really? So, when that happens, oh, I pushed it too soon. No, I don't particularly want to push start to die. We didn't see the driving bit, but you're not missing nothing. You're supposed to get that cursor, then go out that door on the first level, and you start to drive a car. Um, it's a 3D environment, and as I said, you're not missing anything. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.